I knew that Cam was a star athlete and a great martial artist, but I thought his claims were exaggerated at best. I was an engineer. My mind demanded scientific proof. I invited Cam to a biannual reunion in Las Vegas for people who had grown up in New York's Chinatown. I wanted to learn more about the UN method and if he was what he claimed to be. I told Chinatown buddies he, he'd be there. They remembered Cam from the old days and knew about his work on the Kung Fu TV series. But when I described what he was doing, they were even more skepti skeptical than I had been initially. While Cam and I were standing around chatting and catching up on old times, one of the reunion committee members, perhaps thinking I could stick him with a few needles, came up to me complaining of excruciating lower back pain. Instead, I introduced him to Cam, who within minutes made the pain, man's pain completely vanish. Impressed, I asked if he would be willing to demonstrate his, his method to others. When we gathered for a buffet dinner, I, in, I asked the organizer to introduce Cam to the audience. She agreed and invited Cam on stage. He asked for volunteers to come up. For anyone with any kind of pain or health concern, he could help resolve. I thought this would be the moment when Cam would amaze people with how quickly he could make pain go away, the moment when people would see why their hometown boy had such a huge international following, the moment when they would realize he was more than just a chiropractor. But no one stirred. Out of a, an audience of th more than 300 people, not one person got up. I was embarrassed and later apologized to him for having put him on the spot. I should have gone up and introduced him properly, realizing too late that most people had no idea who he was or what he wanted to do. Cam, however, being supremely self-confident, some might say, mistake it as being arrogant, said the crowd's tepid response didn't faze him. I persuaded him to come to Washington, D.C. to one of his seminars. After the seminar, I felt it was a mind-opening experience for me, one that would lead me not only to learn the UN method and deepen my study of other facets of energy medicine, and here I should make a footnote that Cam clearly differentiates his method from others by studiously avoiding the use of such terms as energy medicine or healing or healer. Nevertheless, he returned me to the study of science, not the older science of Isaac Newton or Rene Descartes, but the newer theories of Werner Heisenberg and David Bohm. Theories very much in line with the ones that the Chinese ancients introduced 5,000 years earlier. To put it more bluntly, quantum physics is now showing us that the theories that underlie Chinese medicine, Qigong, and the Yuan method are not New Age mumbo-jumbo. Thank you.